Welcome back lighting friends, Robert from Pathway Connectivity Solutions with the Cognito Lighting Control Console. And in the last video we talked about filtering which was in the select task what this little coffee filter did and how you could filter on one playlist and other playlist memories or stuff in use. As we promised in this video we're going to talk about cue actions and that is mostly happening in the play task with your playlists uh, and that's these little green icons the little gear icon that show that there's a cue action associated with the cue. Now, if you want to remember back to video 21, we talked about how one playlist, maybe on the left playback, could have a cue action which would fire a go or a release or a pause on the second playback, which is very handy if you have a running show, but a supplementary effect or something you've built special and you want to fire it off automatically. So if you want to look at that again, that's back in video 21. Now in this one, we're going to talk about some of the other functions that you can do with Q Action, specifically uh, doing a little bit of control with the Neato app and um, setting out MIDI commands. That's why I have uh, the keyboard here. And uh, also uh, it will, we are going to show you how to run uh, bump buttons on memories. So, uh, I have a new set, so if you look at my visualizer here, um, I have a very pretty set that could be uh, a church or a TV studio or something like that, and I have a very pretty um, pre-show look in my evening show here, so we're sitting in the pre-show look, nobody's in the audience, but um, I do have my iPhone here, and I want to go touch up some of the focuses, so I'm going to grab my ladder, and I'm going to go out away from the desk and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, look here uh, I have a little green uh, circle showing that I have a connection to my Neato uh, Neato is connected to Cognito and what I'm going to do is look at my podium front light here and I'm going to just lock that on at full and you can see that my podium front light came on and I just need to touch it up so I'm going to go and uh, grab a ladder and touch that up and then I may go off here to light number um, three which is my couch front light and do the same that brings up my couch front light so you can see those are locked now even though my pre-show look is up I can grab my grandmaster and I can fade that down but those two lights are still locked they're tech locked this is a little aside from Q actions, but just let me show you. If we go into select here, we can see that the podium front light is tech locked and the couch front light is tech locked. Now, if I wasn't so absent minded, what I could do is I could select one of these lights, like the couch front light, um, and go into control, go into intensity, go into advance, and I can see that it is being tech locked by a technician, so I can unlock that light. And if I go here now, you'll see it's unlocked. And also on my Neato app, the little padlock goes away. So, and I could run that up from the desk. This is still a little aside from Q actions. And I could desk lock that guy on. Uh, so even if I release him out by hitting the release button. Now that guy is desk locked. That one is tech locked. They're both up. I could put the Grandmaster out and it doesn't disturb the guys on my ladder. So, tech lock, desk lock, that's a little aside on that. But here we are, we uh, had to answer a phone call, we uh, went for a coffee, and uh, lo and behold, we're back in the booth now, and the next cue is to take the house lights out, begin the show, and what I've done is I've added a little cue action here. That's why I have the little green gear attached to this cue, and what it's gonna do is release the locks. So if I highlight this cue, I'm just gonna show you where that's hidden. So again, these are the basic properties of the cue. And if I arrow down, I will go to the follow properties. And if I arrow down, I'll go to the position times and the shape times. And now the very last guy is my action. So that is the last page of the cue properties. And in here, we have an action type which is a cognito based action versus a memory action or a playlist action. And uh, the action is to release the locks. So let me just open up Neato to show you what's gonna happen here. 
So now when you see number three is desk locked. And number one is tech locked. That's why it's got the little TL there. So as I run this queue, it's going to fade out the lights because that's what the queue does. And it's also going to release the locks. So let's just have a look at that. So Neato shows they go. The stage is in a complete blackout. And the fact that I forgot to release the locks is no longer an issue because this queue action will do it for me. Now there's another queue action for Neato. And I've done that uh, on this next queue. And that is to uh, Neato Lockout. And I'm gonna turn that on. So this, since this is Wi-Fi based, it, it could be dangerous uh, if there's other technicians in the house that have it in their pocket or even say somebody being malicious wanting to do something to your show. So at the beginning of each show, it's a great idea to basically turn off the connections for Wi-Fi uh, for Neato to connect to Cognito. And that's done in setup. You could do that manually. I'll show you that in a second. Or we could just run this queue. Um, and uh, so remember I showed you we had the little green uh, connection donut in this top corner. When I run this next queue, here I am gonna hit go. What happens is you see that goes amber. And that's because what it's done for me is it's gone into setup and we do that by hitting the power button, go into setup, we go into the Neato tab, and what it did for us is it changed the connection mode to say no devices are allowed. So it did that automatically for us. Um, now, if I went into my gear here for setup and I say to choose a Cognito, it actually says there not allowing connections. So now even from here, I know it's gone on. So that's a handy thing to do at the beginning of each show, which is to release all your locks and maybe lock out any needles so nothing bad can happen during the show. So let's uh, look at a completely different thing. Now we're sitting in a stage blackout. I'm just going to go away from uh, the left playlist here, which is our evening show, and I'm going to go to the right playlist. Now this is much more a show control-y sort of thing that you may want to do if you are integrating with other systems. Uh, sometimes there are many show control messages you want to send off to another lighting desk or an audio console or um, maybe some sort of cue light system uh, or playing uh, sound effects on some sort of uh, replay unit. Um, or um, whatever MIDI string you want to uh, push out the back of the Cognito console, you can add a cue action to that. Now I've done something a little more fun here. What I've done is I've added a whole list of MIDI notes just to show that the cue action type uh, send MIDI can be anything. And in this case, what I'm doing is I'm sending MIDI data and 0x is, um, says it's hex. But if you knew anything about MIDI, this, this wouldn't frighten you because you would see these strings all the time. 91 is key on, uh, 39 is the A key in the third octave, I think, or fourth, I don't quote me on that. And then the last guy is the velocity. And then this one here, is uh, the G note 37 and then this guy here is again 39 which is A and it turns it off. So um, if you if you uh, if you knew all the notes to hit and you did them in a big succession and you had a bunch of uh, follow times and uh, did them all appropriately you would get something like this when you press go So you can send out a lot of MIDI and control a lot of different things. So that's one of the other cue actions that might be handy to you. Now let's go back to the left playlist here. Let's see what I've done on this cue here. Uh, this, what it does is it's going to do a action type, uh, which is going to function on my memories. And what it's going to do is it's going to release them all. So even though we're sitting in a blackout here, I might want to do something 
when I'm playing my memories here. So this is an interesting one. This is my entrance. Oh, that's nice. That's pretty. And what do I have here? I also have the host light. So I might bring some of this stuff up manually uh, and forget about it. Um, and there might be a very important cue when I go back into my playlist here where I want nothing to happen except for, pardon me, except for the stairs effect. So um, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to press go to go into the stair effect here. And that's running a nice little effect across the bottom of my stairs. And lo and behold, if I go back to memories, I can actually see that it released those memories. That's why they're flashing red. And this red bar here shows that my handles, although they're physically up, uh, they're in the wrong position. So I can just bring those down and uh, and then they're they're um, they're done, but it, it doesn't physically bring them down, of course. But virtually, it did release all of those memories. So that's another handy cue action. Now, what did I put on this one? Oh yeah, so I have now in this case, I have a blank cue. I labeled it blank because it doesn't really do anything. All it does is allow this effect to carry on, but there's no cue information in it. But that really handy entrance thing, which was on 11, which I thought was so cool, that does this, is uh, going to do on this cue here, this action is going to do an action type called memory. And it's going to hit the bump button down on the main page. And the memory, num the memory that is labeled entrance which happens to be 11 there. So I could do that here by pressing it. And if I press it again, it'll turn it off. But this blank queue here is going to do that for me. So let's press go. And the queue carried on doing this effect underneath. But now you see bump number 11 is flashing that's because it was pushed down by this cue action. So now I can turn that off. Now there's one other cue action that is interesting. Let me just do this uh, blackout cue here. This is something you might want to do at the end of the uh, night. So after you've turned off all of your lights and you're about to put the dust cover on the desk and you're about to go home, um, see your kids and all the rest of it, you might want to shut the console off. Now, of course, that's pretty easy. You just hit press console off, but there's an action here for Cognito to power off the desk. So when I press go on this next light right here, what's going to happen is